Hey there, welcome back. I'm Simon. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you probably know that I love Shelly devices. And I've tried quite a few of their relays, but I've never had a look at one of the Pro Module relays. So today we're going to be having a look closely at the Shelly 4PM Pro. Now, to be totally transparent with you, Shelly did send this product to me free of charge, but this is not a sponsored video and they have no control over what I'm about to say. So the Shelly Pro range of devices are designed to be installed on a DIN rail system within your power box. And the other benefit about them is that they do have this ethernet connection. So you can select either connect via Wi-Fi or if you want total reliability, you can go with ethernet. Now do bear in mind that these are larger devices. They're not gonna be able to fit in behind your light switches. So the Shelly Pro 4PM sells at 97 euros and 90 cents and do bear in mind that for this you are getting four relays which are uh, switching up to 16 amps per channel and they're also offering power monitoring connectivity offers lan wi-fi and bluetooth options over power and over voltage protection is offered it has a 1.8 inch wide screen which displays the state of the relay the power consumption, as well as your connectivity over here and the time. This device offers a five year manufacturer's warranty. Wiring for this device requires a neutral coming in over here, your live coming in over here, and then you've got the outputs one through four, which will be powering your lights or whatever lo other load you're using. And then on this side, you've got your switches connecting back to live. It also offers a slightly separate wiring diagram for inductive loads where you have an RC snubber in parallel with the load. As always with um, high voltage devices, I would always recommend getting your electrician involved to do this. Having a close look at this device, on the top of the device, we have our live coming in and then we have outputs one, two, three, and four. On the underside over here, we have the neutral and then we have switches one through to four and we have our LAN connection over there. On the underside, we have our clip and our connection for the rail. And then we have our controls over here. So this is not a touch screen. It's controlled by these little buttons over here. So you can see that we can select through the relays and then we can turn them on and off using the switch on that side. The device is rated at 110 to 240 volts AC, 50 or 60 hertz. And do bear in mind that even though it's 16 amps per channel, the total device can only transfer 40 amps. So I've plugged in the ethernet port and as you can see, it's already popped up as connecting up to home assistant so we'll say yes we do want to submit it there we go you so really interesting to see that it's coming through as four individual shelly devices rather than one device with four switches so if we open up switch number naught we can go in there and we can control that individual switch and then we have our power over here so we have kilowatt hours and watts and then we have some disabled entities over here, which is current, frequency, returned energy, and voltage. So we can just go along and we can enable these. So now I've wired this up using a single LED and a little Wago connector. And if we look at our screen over here, you can see we've got the time showing there. Now that I've got the ethernet running and we can then scroll down to our output number zero and by pressing the OK button, we can turn it on and off. And we can see there that we've got our 7.2 watts being drawn at the moment. So if we go and have a look at that in Home Assistant, we can turn the light on and off. Once it's on, we can see here that we've got a 50 kilohertz frequency coming in on our AC. We're using a power of 7 watts, which is a current of 0 0.04 amps. And if we scroll down to the bottom over here, we can see that we even have a temperature on the device, which we can enable as well. So it's running at about 34 degrees Celsius. We can also go along from here. We can visit the Shelly app or sorry, the Shelly web app. So over here, we've got each individual switch showing there. 
with voltage and you can see here the only one that's being used currently is circuit number zero um, we've got actions here so within Shelly you can go along and create your own actions which are sort of automations you've also got schedules that you can create so if you're using this device without home assistant there are quite a few things that you can do within the Shelly app so in summary I think this is a fantastic device from Shelly I really like the fact that you can operate it using Ethernet so if you wanted to avoid using Wi-Fi and all the limitations that come with any sort of wireless signal and the issues that you can pick up the beauty of wired is that it is always the most stable and the most reliable connection that you have i really like that little screen you can see exactly what's going on when you're looking inside of your breaker box i also like the fact that it's got that five-year warranty from shelly which gives you peace in mind so honestly for four relays 16 amps um, i think this is a fantastic device i'll be really interested to know how you would use this device and what you think of it so please give me some comments in the description below anyway that's all for now i will leave a link to this product in the description and if you want to get it i do get a small affiliate revenue you don't pay any extra it's just something that keeps the channel going if you've enjoyed this content please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye for now